In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a loose lens cover on your spy pen. I'm also going to show you how to fix the clip if it is bent or loose. And I will show you how to put it all back together again when you are finished. All right, what we've got here is our Power Ray spy pen, our most popular spy pen. And this video, we're going to be talking about this lens cover and also this clip. Now the camera lens is right here at the top of the pen. And this plastic piece right here is like a lens cover. It's supposed to cover the camera lens to protect it and also to hide it. But after a while, it can become loose and it can slide down really easy. As you can see, this one has. And here's a quick and easy way to solve that problem with just a pair of pliers. So you take a pair of pliers like this and I usually put them on this setting as opposed to this setting, okay? When it's on this setting, it gets a better angle on it. Now all you do is you take the pliers and you grip the pen clip right up here at the end, at the tip, and then you just squeeze, okay? And then you test it, it's still loose. So now I'm gonna squeeze a little bit harder. Test it again. It's a teeny bit tighter. Let's just squeeze it again, the third time. Again, each time I'm squeezing, I'm doing a little bit harder. Okay, and there we go. So after three squeezes it took, now we've got a pen cap which actually stays up. Another tip is when you're squeezing it, keep this plastic uh, lens cover in the down retracted position. If you do it while it's up, it might not work because now you're trying to compress the metal against the plastic lens cover. So push the lens cover all the way down so that when you're compressing the metal, it won't be working against the plastic. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually remove this clip if in case you accidentally pop it off or in case you need to adjust it. Like say for example, if you've bent this clip out to where it's, it's really loose and it won't stay on anymore. Let me give you an example, okay? Let me just bend this one out here. So let's say that over use, over time, I'm being really rough on this, don't do this. But let's just say you bent this thing out to where, now it's kind of loose. See how it's loose now? And if you keep bending it out, then this thing might actually just fall out on its own. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to properly remove this clip. First of all, if your pen is in really good condition, you might wanna use some tape. And then I'm just gonna kind of slide the tape up under the clip, just like that. And that's to protect the paint. Cause now we're gonna take a screwdriver and go in this way with it. And we're just gonna kind of twist, twist and push up and it'll come off. Here's what the clip looks like up close. So you can see the mechanics of how it's being held in. You can see there's longer prongs on, on the lower side and there's like shorter prongs on the upper side. So that's why when you pop this clip off, you wanna pry it from this side as opposed to this side. So now that the clip is off and free and clear, you can just bend it. You can just bend it back, just be very gentle. And we're just gonna put some pressure on it just to bend it back. That looks about good. Maybe a little bit more, okay? So now that's fixed. So now we're ready to pop that back into place. But before I do that, I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna show you a little bit more about this plastic lens cover. It's made up of two pieces and it's basically a friction hold. So if you pop your clip off, those two plastic pieces might actually pop out. Okay, so to take this apart, I'm just gonna put my finger on this top part right here and then use a screwdriver in this part and just apply a little bit of pressure. And this piece just pops right out. Uh, there it goes. <laughs> it's kind of tight because we've fixed the clip. So here's a close up of all three pieces. You've got the metal clip here. And just to, just to show you the dynamics of what's going on, when we are squeezing this end right here, we're basically clamping this together so that these, these two sides squeeze tighter against the lens cover piece, which is right here. Now let's go ahead and just put this back together in case you find yourself with a bunch of pieces like this. So this piece right here, this lens cover piece, make sure it goes in the proper way so here's a close-up so you can see there's actually like a beveled edge, okay? 
So the thicker part goes inside like this. Kind of snapped in. All right, so now the lens cover is inside the clip. And you see this tiny hole right here? That hole is meant to receive the post on the thumb slider, which I have right here. Okay, so then the, slump, the thumb slider piece goes in like that. And as you can see, I got it in there. Now we're just gonna lay it flat on the table and then we're just gonna press the lens cover down so that that post of the thumb slider ends up pushing through and it gets firmly installed into that hole, okay? This thumb slider, it doesn't matter if it's rotated. You can, you can rotate it 360 or 180. It doesn't matter which way it goes in. So now we've got the clip fully assembled again, and I'm gonna show you the way to install it back onto the pen. So again, it's important to note these longer clips and the shorter ones. So when you put it in the pen, just keep that in mind as you're, as you're sliding it in, the mechanics of what's going on. So now I'm gonna take the metal clip and the pen, and I'm gonna set the clip gently into the rails where it's supposed to go. Here's a close up. So it's just right in, right over the slot, and I'm just holding on to it with tension just to keep it in the right position. Now I'm just gonna push down on the metal clip, just like that. And now the metal clip is fully installed, and as you can see, it's no longer loose because we've bent the clip. This is a spring, a spring steel clip, and so we've bent it back in the proper position. So now we've got proper tension down here at the tip. And now we've also got the lens cover, which is nice and tight. It's not gonna slide down. And if it does, if it ever does again, just take the pliers and squeeze it at the end up here again. One more thing that I get every now and then, some people complain about the 32 gigabyte sticker. They say it gives the pen away. Everybody knows it's a spy pen because of the sticker. Well, when you get it, just peel it off. Simple as that. If you found this video to be helpful, please hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to What A Deal for more awesome demo videos. We not only show you how these products work in action, but we also show you tips on how to fix them and how to get the most out of them after you purchase them. To find more support videos like this, just go to whatadeal.com and click the support section and you'll find lots of support videos showing how to use our items. Thank you for watching.